Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Dex. So, Fixers, Fixers Hope. Right, you gotta go in. You don't press up, you press Y. Eh, can't, can't complain too much. So now we're playing this live. Damn, this music is good. Like, just right off the bat. Music. So is this... Oh, is this the, uh, this is the other side of the toxic tanks. Let's see if there's anything lootable here. Ah, there is. I knew it. Anything else? No, that does not look... That does not look friendly. I think we gotta come back to that later. Anything around here? Hey, yeah! So I get to re reap the rewards without any of the danger. Beautiful. Or maybe not. I don't even know. Whatever. At least we get some health back. I'm hoping that they add some kind of, like, um... Healing to this game. Like, some kind of manual healing. I guess there there's stuff in my inventory that I can go with. But that, that's about it. Yeah, wow, I cranked down the volume on things a little bit. And it's still... <laughs> Enter. Where is this? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, nope. Can't do, can't do that yet. There, I know there's a cybernetic upgrade so you don't get hit by electricity. So there's that. Let's see. But yeah, th this definitely seems very Shadowrun-like. Like, you know, nobody, nobody seems to bat an eye. Lockpicking level 2 required. Wow, this truck is just really blocking the way. Everybody's just like, nope, there's a truck there. Is that a monkey? No, that's a cat. Alright, that, that's probably pretty office. Buy condoms to- What?! I can buy condoms for 20 credits. Alright, let's buy one just in case. Does this game have sex scenes? That concerns me a little bit because I don't think I can show that on Twitch. Nothing but netrunners and cyberpunks. Oh, no help here. Go. Stay. Think. That must be Decker. You're Decker, right? I'm... Ah, uh, you're late, I know. And you're just as sorry as last time. Now, you better start acting natural, because that guy behind you, I had never seen him before, and I sure don't trust how he's looking at you. He's looking now? I, I can take him. You can do what I say. Now, I don't know how you fried that CPD, Mary Jane, but it's toast. Come on back, we'll pick you out another. Come. Sure. Thanks. Out here. Yeah, the art is what drew me to this game. Those that this so, is your decks. Uh, I have no idea why Raycast wants you safe, but now you're my bag. The art is what originally drew me to this game. The in-game art maybe a little bit less so, but the cutscene art is really well done. But uh, yeah, Shadowrunner, nobody pays attention to unless you want uh, unless somebody wants. Something from you. Yeah, no, this is... So, for frame of reference, for nobody that's uh, played Shadowrun, or this game, or really any cyberpunk games, most cyberpunk-themed things can be traced back to... Oh, I am trying to remember the name of the book. Oh, it is prolific, and it is bad. It's where, you know, Netrunners, it is where Ice, it's where Decker comes from. Decker isn't a name, normally. Decker is actually a profession. Deckers are people that hack. Uh, so, in this case, I guess they just... Uh, combine that into one dude. Um, Neuromancer, there we go. Uh, Neuromancer is what, like, half of this lore is based off of, which is weird, because, like, if you read the book, I, I can see the groundworks for it being there. It's also really bad, comparatively. But anyway, let let's let's get through this, and I can rant about Neuromancer later. And trust me, if anyone else had sent you here, you'd have hit a locked door, and in no way, kid, I'm not interested. So don't go telling your classmates you found out where Grandpa Help All lives. You lucked out on your guardian angel. Ray Cast called me. I'm your help. And right now, that means I'm your out. That's easy. So you talk like Ray Cast is a big deal. Who is he? Who's after me? I was nearly killed back there. Or, uh, let's see. Well, let's start with the first one. You talk like Ray Cast is a big deal. You who don't is know he? Who Ray Cast is? Listen, Ray Cast was behind some of the biggest leaks and scandals of the past 15 years. Not a corner of the grid has kept him out. If any one person is the hacker movement, it's him. Some say they've met him, but they're trolls with tails, every last one of them. No one has. Raycast meets you, and most times, you don't even know about it. Who's after me? I was nearly killed back there. If Raycast is involved and wants my help, you can bet your bottom credit you got the complex on your back. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Okay. The Complex is an off-the-books organization, the click of all clicks. Pick a Megacorp, Samio, Armageer, Trust DNG, all have a tie to the Complex. 
boards of directors, subsidiaries, shareholders, you name it. You won't find a politician so much as cross the street without the complex giving a walk sign. But who are they? No one knows. And that's where the hackers come in, digging for faces, looking to expose. But the complex is protected with a capital pro. Pissed off the wrong guys, kid. Let's see. Uh, why would you agree to help me? Do you owe this Raycast? I don't owe him. I don't even know him. At least not personally. No one does. Every underground ticket from here to escrow Jack knows what he can do. When a Raycast reaches out to you, there's something big going on. You can bet on it. And let's just say I have my own reasons too. There's got to be some mistake. I'm nobody. Why are they after me? Crooked. Ruthless. Yeah. Mistakes. Not their game. If you're targeted, you ain't nobody. Wait. Hear that? What? Nothing. That's my point. Bar's dead silent. You gotta run. Go through that back door. Head towards Taijo, China District. Find Tony. He's a friend. He's got a hideout. You should be safe there. Uh, let's see. What's going on? I found you. I'll hold them off. Find Tony. The building with the Chinese fortune cat. Now go. All right, so our health is recovered completely. Oh, I see. Sneak through here. I like the crawl in this game. It's just like, eh, 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 eh. It's like shadow boxing. I don't know. It's weird. But, uh, yeah, no. Uh, so I read the Neuromancer book, actually, after originally finding the Shadowrun, uh, or after playing the Shadowrun games. Oh, looks like I'm going to be fighting some random goons again. Eh, this is normal. I know how to fight these guys. Oh, right. I forgot. I can just instant murder them. Yes. Okay, let's pick up the money. But, uh, so after playing the Shadowrun games, I was like, oh, eh, that's a lot of dudes. Can I, can I, I got him. All right, sweet. Suck it. Flying jump kicks, because that is like the only way to fight in the, in this game. It actually is kind of comical how easy it is to cheese the chain women now that you know how to fight them. As long, oh God, I, I don't know. I, I do feel like the anime, anime AI and stuff like that could be a little bit more interesting. Okay, so let's unlock this. Uh, it, it feels like almost like the platforming and the combat and stuff like that is more of a, a side element than anything else. Oh shit, he's got a gun! What the fuck? This is not cool. God damn it, stop with your gun business. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of you until you stop gunning me down. Can I have his gun? I got his ammo. Not his gun. This is. Hmm. Then again, actually, there's usually a common thing where, like, things are identity-based. I kind of wish you could... Oh, hello. Oh, deuces. Because he knows I'm there, even though I'm behind him, I can't actually still kill him. That's kind of a shame. And he's escaped. Eh? What the fuck are you doing down here, dude? He just, like, goes on adventures for no good reason. Well, whatever. Jump kicks are the best and only way to play. But, like, after playing games like Valda's Story, Catacomb Kids, and stuff like that, it, it does kind of highlight just how weak the combat is. And again, good combat is hard to program in a game, so when you're trying to do, like, a story-based game, I can kind of understand why... Oh, shoot, can I not go back? I can't go back already. Nuts, there's a health pack there, too. Oh. But, uh... But, yeah, especially after Valda's Story, it's just like, alright, this combat is not nearly as cool. Which is a shame. Because I, I want good combat in games, like, at all, all, all times, because otherwise it just kind of feels like a chore. Maybe if I just hadn't spoiled it by playing those games, I'd be better off. Alright, there we go. What do we get? Nope! I don't want to climb! I want to loot! I want to loot! Oh, please let me climb. Loot. There we go. So we get some energy cola. Is there anything else here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. But yeah, no, um... I've never actually been that big of a cyberpunk fan, just because a lot of the time it feels like it's almost mismatched. I feel like uh, Deus Ex, even though, okay, you guys look big. Oh, I leveled up. Uh, that's the wrong screen. Um, hmm. Let's put one into melee. I'm probably going to need it. Did I, did I not confirm? I didn't confirm. Okay. Now let's put that one into melee. Okay, there we go. But, uh... You know what? Probably could have actually... Oh, shit, they got guns! Why do they have guns? This is not cool. Oh, come on. Well, it's uh, time to see if I can eat something. Does it get me my health back? That That's like 30 health. Oh, this is brutal. 
Time to just drink all of the cola. My teeth, they're gone. But that's okay. Because I can live without gunmen. Fucking, they can shoot past each other. That's some kind of hokey bullshit. What, what the? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to run. Oh, this has got to be it. People don't come here. You, Tony? Decker said you had a place to hide out. I'm here to hide out. Decker? Look, if you're in trouble, I don't want any part of it, okay? I'm in more than just trouble. Tony, please. Decker said you'd help. Oh, man. Can't a guy run a record in peace? Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Just talk. I guess I don't get to beat Where the shit out of everybody. Where is that green grid runner anyway? And why didn't he flag me himself? I don't know. Dead men don't make calls. Decker stayed behind. Anything could have happened. Dad? This can't be happening. Who the hell's after you? Look, I like breathing. <sighs> Hear that? That's me. Happy, okay? Now, get out. Just help me contact Raycast, please. He'll know what to do. Raycast? You know Raycast? You're jiggling with my gully balls. Who in Chili Chow Main are you? Tony! Open up! It's Decker! Let me in! Well, he's alive. You made it. Should be safe here for now. No one ducks radar as good as Tony. Quack! <laughs> Cute. Uh, let's see. How, did you, how the hell did you make it out of Fixer's Hope? first rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for years as a hacker, back in the day. Let's see, welcome back, Strice. Let's see, um... Should be a hacker, not anymore. There's a lot of questions here. Let's just, uh... Can't, still can't get my head around how you got out if of there. If you don't trust me, kid, come right out and say it. I was prepared, all right? I knew this day was coming. Just thought it would be my ass they were after. You used to be a hacker? Not anymore? You know what they say. If you ain't got ideals as a kid, you're missing a heart. But if you still got them as an old-timer, you're missing a brain. I took a step back is all. Leave the rodeos to the young blood. I opened Fixer's Hope. Made my help from the sideline. Did something happen to make you retire? Jeez. Shouldn't we talking about how to save your ass right now? Uh, so what's Fixer Hope really about? You don't strike me as the bar, no bar owner type. I am a curious person. Ha! <laughs> What, because I still shower? Give me another year and I'll blend right in. Look, I built a network of compadres back in my hacker days, and one day I opened a joint for them. Nothing more to it. Then every hacktivist and cypherpunk in the city barreled in like it was a Sameo firewall. Flesh meats, trades, you name it. Quick became the kind of hangout the complex don't much appreciate. How come they didn't shut it down? My people ain't short on thinking, all right? I keep illegals to a minimum, and any speak going on is as hushed as a CIB case file. What are you going to do now that they've uh, raided your joint? Yeah. Fixer's Hope ain't going to be reopening anytime soon. I need to lay low. Complex don't like it when bust comes to fail. It's not just you they'll be after now. Let's see. Um... Running that kind of joint, I'm guessing it was just a matter of time before you got dragged back into all of this. You don't pull any punches, do you, kid? But yeah, with some dealings, boots don't stay hung up. I knew they'd come for me someday, just not this one. All right, let's talk about something sure. else. What else you need to know, Blue? Or are we done gabbing? Uh, how do you know about Tony? Is he someone we can trust? Don't worry about Tony. I've known him for years. We ran ops together. He was a regular at Fixer's Hope. He's only there from here. Guess it'll just be here now. Uh, how can we contact this Raycast? What do you mean? You're the Raycast connect here. You had the cyberspace meet. Just jack back in there and... Show me your neck. What's this? This ain't a jack. 
Leave off. That's my neck plate. What do you mean a jack? Neck plate? You're wearing freaking ornaments? We're not on a catwalk here, sister. How the hell can you not have a jack? How did you plug into the network? Uh, all I know is I was in bed and the next thing my mind's being dragged off to... Who knows where to talk to Raycast? What are you talking about? Without a jack, you ain't jacking in. Now, I don't know how you were in C-Space, but if you can't flag Raycast, we're gonna need a way to do it ourselves. But Raycast isn't exactly in the telephone book. He comes to you. I sure hope he's not done with you, kid. Tony, can you put a beacon out for Raycast without the complex tracing it? Is that doubt in your tone? You need to be changing up your tonality, cause Tony's been slipping across the ice more than a penguin in slippers. Yes! I mean, yes, I can get Raycast a message. Oh, why, we got contact. It's Raycast. No doubt about it, it's his crypt sig. How's my hair? You're wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. Hello again, Dex. It pleases me to see you alive. And hello to you, Decker. You proved me right in entrusting her to you. Glad to hear that, because it looks like I just lost my livelihood. I wish there had been another way, Decker. But please trust me when I say, this is worth it. Now our timeline is short. We must make haste. Dex, I need to show you how to enter cyberspace. At last, I was starting to feel like an entree on the dessert menu. Cherish your humor. It shall make your trials more bearable. Now, I will lead you into cyberspace this time, but you will need to learn to connect yourself. Now, relax and remove your mind. Think only of elevation and detachment. Yes. Do you feel that wall? Focus on it. Open it. Decker, what's he talking about? She's got no jack. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you a stream running vertically before your eyes. It is your link to the virtual world. Step into it. And we are returned. You are in. Remember that feeling? Just like last time. Now your mind can only focus for so long, so act fast. You must destroy the firewall around that panel before you can interact with it. Interestingly enough, the sound from it shooting. That panel's been busted for ages. How did she? Careful. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. Vi uh, you can only hear based on proximity, which is interesting. Oh, focus, focus is uh, focus is how much health I have left. I gotta worry about that a little bit. Luckily, they only seem to be attacking the thing, so I don't have to defend, which is good. So it's, it's mostly just defense, or... Yep, you still get... St oh, I blew up. Do you understand now, Dex? Could you repeat that experience alone? You must have some opportunity to practice. Decker will assist you. I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you wonder where this power of yours came from. You have heard of Kether, have you not? Uh, nope. Then listen carefully. Kether is the most advanced AI ever created. The only being that can be instantaneously aware of the entire activity of the world's cyber network. Every message, every transaction, every connection Kether sees, feels. Kether is omniscience. And you, Dex, are its seed. Whoa there, what? Raycast. You can't just go around saying stuff like that. Haven't you got a clear feed? It's a kid you're talking to here. You stop kidding me. She needs to get somewhere safe, and you're going on like she's some kind of messiah. Feeding her with avatar fairy tales isn't helping her, and it sure as hell isn't helping me help her. You need to trust me, Decker. My only concern is her life, and no one is better placed than I to know how to preserve it. Dex. The Complex want you dead, but for Kether's sake, you must stay alive. What about for her own sake? Look, Raycast, if they're after her, we're going to need some help on the ground here. Get prepared for what is ahead of you, Dex. 
Become able to defend yourself. Train. Practice in cyberspace. Decker will help you. We will speak again soon. We need more, Raycast! Raycast! Damn it! He's got us on a string here. He didn't even say hi to me. Dex, we need to talk. Dex, we need to talk. Damn it! <laughs> Look, Kether's real, but all that other stuff, that seed and avatar stuff, just forget it, alright? Ain't nothing but hacker myths and bourbon legends. Interesting, instead of urban legends, bourbon... Oh! You know what? Whomever... What? Whomever wrote the the text here for what he said came after the voice acting. Because they mistranslated urban legends into bourbon legends. I was wondering about that earlier. There were, there were a couple other uh, mistakes like that. And I was really wondering how that could have happened. Because he for, he, for certain, did not say bourbon legends. That's something I would make a mistake of. Not putting it into the game, anyway. She did connect to sea space without a Jack Decker. Not you as well. Will everybody keep their feet on the ground here? Just saying. Look, I'll tell you the facts. Kether's real. The complex created it. A distributed network program capable of unsupervised learning. They built it to monitor every node in the whole grid. And by tapping into the processors of each server it accessed, it had infinite computational resources. But during Charlie tests, Complex screwed up. I, I agree that it could be drunk people telling tales, but it's not the first time that it, this game has had that error. So I, I really think that it's actually a weird error of translation where the game was voice acted first and then script was sort of written later. Because the voice actor said urban legends. There's no B in there. And there was another point, I think with the, the black chick in the first episode, that the same thing had happened. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep my eyes out to see if it happens again. They fed it too much processing power inside the development network. And Kether grew a self. Like, became self-aware? Some said that. Others, that it just acted like it was self-aware. But whatever it was, it broke its leash. Jumped the complex's development network and spread into cyberspace. All right, what then? Then, then we were this close to an anarchist's Eden. An AI seeing everything, loyal to nothing. It wouldn't have been programmers dealing with Kether, it would have been politicians. How do you blackmail an AI if you don't have nobody doing the desiring, no family to be protecting? How do you bribe? We were this close to shaking up the entire system from the top down. Anything would have been possible. But the complex, they had an ace up their sleeve. A failsafe, just in case Kether got out of control. A parallel program called the GSV, Grid Security Virus. They unleashed GSV to contain it. GSV wasn't perfect, but it was enough. The two AIs, Kether and GSV, they went at it. Remember Black Monday? When the whole grid crashed? Them. Slugging it out. Neutralization and recovery. Then, attrition. Finally, stalemate. Both pinned. Both contained. Kether is still there. Everywhere. But it can't operate. Not till someone breaks the GSV deadlock. Raycast thinks that someone is me, right? Seems so. But look, this is just fairy tales now. Raycast says you're the avatar of Kether. Man, I feel like a chump just saying that word. Because here it says Kether dot 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 avatar. I don't know. The story goes like this. Kether had just seconds in sea space before GSV was set loose. But seconds were enough. It selected a human for backup. Integrating part of itself, a seed, into an organic network, a brain, a human brain. I got Kether in my head? Seems there are a bunch of people who think you do. And I have never seen anyone connect to sea space without a jack. T here thinks you do. But all I care about is keeping you alive, and that means out of the complex of sights. Let's see, what's all this getting prepared? What do I need to do? Time for the Borgs and the Bees chat. Okay, listen kid. The moment you came into my joint with a complex on your tail, there was only one way you were gonna stay breathing. On the street, in cyberspace, wherever. You're gonna need a level of hell up or you're going down. 
Can I just add that as much as you're welcome here, you can't, um, stay here all that long. <sighs> what? I'm sorry, but it's my ass. Dex, you're gonna need to get augmented. It's the only way the rest of you is gonna stay alive. Augmented? You mean the implants? Nanotech? Surely there must be some other way. Oh, he's not even voice acted for this. Nope. Go to Dr. Niles. You can find his clinic near the Chinese gate, not far from here. Tell him you need a neuroweave. With that installed, you can take on any implant you need. Let's see, who is this Niles? How do I know he won't sell me out? Niles is no saint. <laughs> I'd stay awake for the ops. But he is on the wrong side of the system, and that's the right side. Raycast told me, uh, said you'll teach me about cyberspace. So? Blue, I'll be honest. I have no clue how you connected. We all need a jack. What you did back there with Raycast, that was nothing I've ever seen before. But if you can get in, I can show you around. Let's right. do it. Start with some basic actions. Hmm. We'll need a training ground. Needs to be safe, but complex enough for rope learning. I know. Just hack Tony's farm. Excuse me? I'm not having some green slave wandering around the tea farm. Um, no offense. Your network is secure, T. She'll learn to run safely, hack a couple of nodes. You can choose them. Come on, man. It's the ideal setup. I'll keep her on track. Fine, fine. But I'll be jacked in, too. Don't get messy in there, all right? And stay out of the huge but natural subdirectory, if you don't mind. <laughs> See those okay. Viruses. Don't let them get to you. That's a huge but natural. Adorable. Okay, so they will shoot at me. I They're not just purely melee-based. Which is not necessarily that big of a deal, but still, huge but natural. It this is great. This is very poorly written in a lot of cases. It's a very stereotypical. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of like the '80s in a lot of ways. Firewalls and proceed. They're tough, so you might want to use a stronger attack. Cyberspace controls. All right. So what do we got? Shockwave trigger. Oh shoot! I got to like a lot of other stuff. So this is my heavier thing. Okay. So I can I can use. Can I get through this? I can. Hold and enter cyberspace. I was trying to blow them up. I don't know if these are the destructible kind. I'm going to just assume these are... I know why you could... What if I... Okay, you can you can post those things up. Well, this is interesting. Okay, it's gonna be kind of awkward controlling this, but it's not so bad. All right, so we're stealing Tony's money. So while we're here, let's see what other money I can say. Hey, experience, nice. So I might as well just use what I have for the time being. What does that do? Not supposed to read that. Oh, interesting. From LNN staff to Tony. Dear Mr. Tony the subscriber, thank you for purchasing a five-year subscription to the online ver version of Huge and Natural. Access begins immediately. Please click here to activate your account. As a premium subscriber, you are able to download all 2D video files directly to your devices for ease of access. 3D remains streaming only. Thank you for supporting our publication and our models. Enjoy! Yours sincerely, Tori Lang, CEO Pretty P Publications. Found his porn. It's the only it's the only obvious thing. Reminds me of the hacking of sp in Spy Cooper. I've never actually played a Spy Cooper game. I really need to play, like, more. Oh, we got, like, more of these eyes. Now, it doesn't look like it can use some of the more, my more effective ability. Oh, shoot. Should probably go for the, the spawner. Oh, shit. What is even shooting? Shoot, I mean, there's something over there that's hitting me pretty hard. Or trying to. Let's, uh, let's keep the distance. Unfortunately, they keep spawning, which is kind of bad. That said, the heavy attacks will take it out. Perfect. Yeah, there's something there's something moving around okay don't actually know what that is I think it it's got to be like some kind of special turret out there I have to be a little bit careful about that said where is it coming from it's got to be some that somewhere up here nope doesn't look like it all right that's kind of confusing okay let's blow this up there's some experience for the time being kind of want to maximize that uh 
surprised it didn't take any damage from any of that either. What is this business? Trains will slow you down, leaving you vulnerable. I'm gonna leave that for a bit. Oh, that must be the purpley junk. Well, let's try to avoid that anyway. Okay, we don't need the health either. But yeah, no, I, I'm gonna... Oh, man, I have so many games I need to play in life. Oh, that must be the tro Trojan. Alright, well, I can blow that up. I don't know if the purple junk power is shootable. Destroy it to disable the firewalls. To disable all kinds of things, really. Perfect. Yeah, but... What the hell, Tony? You got a black hole in there? Okay, Dex, do not... Alright, Dex, this is it. Hack this data node and get out of here. I'm moving too fast. The dialogue cannot keep up with me. No, oh, well. Either way. Slick work, Blue. You're a natural. She can call herself a hacker now, wouldn't you say, T? Welcome to the club, kid. Meh. Lucky dice at the end there. But not too shabby for a crawler. You'll walk soon enough. Let's see. I'm not done till I'm sprinting. How can I improve even more? Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. Some implants boost your reflexes, give you more connection time, stuff like that. You really gotta be thinking about upgrades, Blue. Okay. Uh, let's go see what Tony has. Also, I can loot his house. Looks like you're gonna be hanging here for a while. Just, please, don't touch anything, okay? Look, sorry about everything. You're taking a lot of risks. It's good of- it's good of you. Yeah, well, you guys didn't leave me much of a choice. But it's all good. Raycast needing some Tony assistance. That's a new level of cool right there. I'm having trouble deciding if Tony is voiced by a man or just like a slightly deeper voiced woman. It's kind of the like, like middle middle range su pseudo not really Bart Simpson, but still. Anyway, so tell me, what is this place? Your office? Office? I live here. Everything. Servers, data drive, CPDs, it's my farm. The tea farm. All for work in the grid. I dish my services, get paid. Y'all welcome. Not sure I get it. What's your job exactly? Job? I'm Tony the Provider. A walk-in, talking, cyber dealing solution. Okay, not much walk-in, but if anyone needs to bust into a game day account, these servers will shake off heat quicker than an icy thing. Need to mine some V credit to level up on Misty Wizard? My bots dig faster than a rabbit. I got me clients from the East Coast Dam Banners to the West Side Hissy Fits. Let's see, what kind of categories do I like? Steampunk or Cyberpunk? Honestly, like, both Steampunk and Cyberpunk can be good. It's just usually it's kind of mishandled or poorly done. I actually kind of prefer the future punk cyberpunk kind of thing. So, um, I, I know I mentioned uh, Remember Me and... Deus Ex, and I, I think Deus Ex Human Revolution is kind of the closer to what I prefer, just because I, Cyberpunk and Steampunk are always just super grungy. Then again, I guess if you count, um, if you count Dishonored as kind of close to Steampunk, which it is in certain cases, then I guess I'm okay with it. Or, uh, Bioshock Infinite, I guess if you also count that as Steampunk. Both of those are kind of drastic departures, but I like them uh, more so, because the usual representations are just kind of clunky, where it's just like, here's a bunch of random shit attached to random clothing, and it's like, eh. Anyway, so you basically help fanboys hack video games. I made an aimbot for Anistrike, okay? <laughs> wow, isn't it dangerous? I mean, with all that video game security? Well, a guy's gotta roll with the punches, you know, but I'm not as big a fish as you might think. I mostly stayed home. Ah, oh, because I was beginning to get impressed there. Well, a guy's got to roll with the punches, you know, but I'm not as big a fish as you might think. I mostly Oh, well, that's home. interesting. All right, I'm going to stop talking to this guy. He does not seem valuable. Let's see if I can loot anything. The answer is no. I could I could heal up if I want to. Interesting. So for getting kicked out earlier, it actually did hurt me. Weird. All right, let's get it there. Oh, uh, what about Shadowrun? I just uploaded you this map of Harbor Prime. Guessing you don't know that part of town so well. Just check it out if you get lost. Well, I already know the sewers pretty well. 